Hello and welcome back to some Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm hoping to finish the game today. I really hoped to finish it last time, but then we got stuck having to go back for Sophia. Um, and then I really, I just noticed that Looks there's like a jump set here. Ah, they always are. But first and foremost, um, this spindle, I, I was about to kind of sit and read through the whole freaking lost dialogues again just to see if there was a hint because there was hints for all of the spindles so far um including the the contrary one which i honestly don't know why the one i did worked but um there's apparently a hint for this and it was pointed out to me in the comments and i won't pretend that it wasn't so uh, yeah we're gonna just go back and look at that and my maria is just ready to finish this game too isn't she good yeah, i got two very active cats this morning so let's do it I'll be back. Okay. Oh, okay. Hurry. That's nice. No, you, you, you would like research stuff, you know? Like, that's your job. Sit here and, like, enjoy it. We should be able to backtrack, too. Yeah, it's just one of these rooms back here. I hope I don't have to do a lot of lava crossing. <laughs> but, um, in case you're curious, I never would have figured this out. Ever, ever, ever. I never in a million years would have backtracked. Um, I would have. I mean, I, I wanted to backtrack for Sophia, and apparently you can. I'm not sure how. And even once it was like pointed out to me, I still wasn't sure, like, what was going on. Please tell me I don't have to go through the lava just to see it again. Okay, we're gonna go through the lava. Sophia did like this track, which was interesting. I'll try this actually. Um. Yeah, that should work. No, it shouldn't. Uh oh. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> I can go over here though. And then I'm okay, right? No. Crap. <laughs> oh no, I'm good. 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 Okay. Where is the freaking thing that I need? I. Yeah, it's it's so hidden. It's so hidden. I'm gonna look at it now. I'm gonna be like, oh, it's really obvious. Nope, it's so hidden. I never would have figured that out. I was so concentrated on literally everything else on the screen. It looks very decorative. So what we're looking at here is this wheel. I might just write this down so I can see where the sun is and the moon is. That looks like um, we're finally using those quarter turns, which is nice. So looks like we have, or the eighth, I guess, the, the full, um, noon sun and the full moon and then this, I think the volcano is at the top. I'm just going to write that down before I'm stupid. This is, this is what's currently happening as I try to write this down. Thanks, Nymeria. You're helpful as always. I could take a picture, but you know what? Here we are. Cool. All right, let's go back to the spindle. I could also just load. <laughs> Am I? Ooh, it's gonna be so much faster to just load. I'm gonna load. All right, let's just do it. Use the sunstone with the spindle. Use the moonstone with the spindle. Use the world stone with the spindle. Look at it. All right, so we have that there. Um, I think it's the full moon, and then the volcano on the top. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did you do now, Indy? I think I turned it on. Uh, oh. Oh! <gasps> I told you, Chaunce would be of some Where did they come spot? from? Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. How did they get here? Like, actually, how did they get here? Don't move. Just tunnel in? Like, what's happening? Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Sir Greg its ultimate victory. It'll take more than oh, a should I be using my whip? Bombs to conquer the world, Ooman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? 
All right, uh, it's a mystery we'll never unravel. Religious ceremonies, holiday party. Well, that's a mystery we'll never unravel. Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings. Yep. While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling orichalcum. <laughs> and now we have all we need. Are you ready for the greatest moment? Did they find the orichalcum maker? Because you can get so much orichalcum. Um, am I ready? I think the heat in here has cooked your cabbages. <laughs> all these hideously deformed bones. Do you really believe in this godhood business? Do you really believe in this godhood business? I was really hoping to do the Neurobsal voice there. I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone. Kerner has aspirations. Eh? Don't be silly, Kerner. You're not prepared. I'm sorry, this is. That's Kerner. Jesus Christ, cat. Hold on one second. Scientific discoveries oh. belong to the board. Don't hold on one second. That's something you of all people should understand. I clicked outside of the thing. I didn't read any of those options. I just clicked outside of the thing. Oh no. She's back. Yeah, I do want to talk about how the skulls here all have horns. Like, is that like that's like a minotaur thing? Did you notice how the skulls here like, have what's horns? Experiments gonna rise. There was like a minotaur statue in the labyrinth, like really early on. Uh, maybe they're all too human, like you. I would say they weren't quite maybe human they to begin. Quite human to begin with. I feel like they weren't human. Human or subhuman, they were destroyed by their physical imperfections and they based in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. You know what's interesting is Indiana Jones. I don't know what his motivation is. Like, he wanted to find the Lost City of Atlantis. He found it. He got to the end. He saw a spindle and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, do all this stuff at the end. I'm sure, like, in a archaeological capacity to find out what the god thing was all about. And then, like, they want to, like, rule humanity. So, I guess that's his motivation. Well, he's just doing stuff. Okay. Let's go and <laughs> die in bed. Send me a postcard from Valhalla. God, it sounds good. I'd like a crack at that. Swell. Send me a postcard from Valhalla. <laughs> One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Indy's just done. He's like, have fun being God. See ya. <laughs> now, if you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You like Kerner's about to die. Make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. Plato suggested 10 B. Let's try that. Oh, good. Wait. What now, Charles? Oh, the tenfold error. That's right. Making a big mistake. Oh, go ahead. You could use some self improvement. I mean, yeah, I do. That is a, that is a good point. The tenfold error. So it could be one or a hundred beats. Um, and I want to say, so if there is an error, then I want to be the one to use one bead and let them use ten beads. So I'm gonna say, oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. You could use some self improvement. You sound a little too happy about this. Tell me what's so amusing. Most players' numbers were way off target. I think Plato prescribed an orichalcum overdose. These may give you size 10 antlers. Ten may give you size 10 antlers. Hmm. He's so fun. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by 10. <sighs> Try one bead. One bead it is. I'm glad that they're doing the experimenting for me. But again, I don't. I'm. I, does Indy want to be a god? Oh, there's a lot going on here. Whoa. Ooh. No! A small bead for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. 
No thank god, but it's for egomaniacs like you. Rather watch, thanks for the offer. You don't need to work out, can you need a miracle? A uh, chance cue ball. I'd rather watch, but thanks for the offer. And it's fun to just watch the Nazis get turned into tiny monsters and fall into lava. Um, makes you think you can outdo the old kings. Makes you think you can outdo the old kings. Science, my boy. We have it and say didn't. Here goes. Hang on a second. Let's talk this over. What if Plato's arrow went the other way? Don't make me do this. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? A hundred bees. And Karina were both wrong. Can't buy Godhood for a couple of beads. I'm going. I want to go all the way. <laughs> I'll do the Dividing logical might answer. Might multiplying might. Alright, Sean. You decide. How many beads should we use? Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. Twenty. It's double. Hundred beads. Shoot the works. No beads, you crazy old man. A hundred beads. Shoot the works. Shoot the works. <laughs> Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. I'm so excited. Kind of want to try ten, but I'm so excited. Why would he let me do this? Oh, shoot, the doctor's dead. After Indy's fatal transformation, it shook itself to pieces, sealing its secrets in the Nazis in molten lava. And my Indy quotient was 579, and that's how the game ends. Oh, Indy died. We're definitely gonna try that again. <laughs> let's load up. I have to do it before the spindle, but I think that let's. Can I just use Orichalcum in the frog statue really quickly? Just want to see what happens. Hmm, that didn't do anything. Great, 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 great. Okay. I might skip through a lot of this because if it's the same, then I'm not going to bother. I mostly, I think the end bit is the most critical. So. Uh oh. What did you do now, Indy? I think I turned it on. But I also missed a lot because my cat was distracting me. So now I might catch some more things, which you is good. See, Connor, I told you chores would be of some use to us. Congratulations, Dr. Jones. That's the best bit. That's definitely the, like, you finish the game. Congratulations, Dr. Jones. It is really disappointing if I can't use my whip in the end game. Religious ceremonies? Wrong! As Plato himself knew! Okay. All right, what are we gonna do here? I think the heat in here has cooked your cabbages. Scientific discoveries belong to the board, John. You really believe it? Attack people, eh? Didn't you notice? How Maybe they were all. Sub ever destroyed. Fortunately, we suffer. Tell you what, let's all go home and die in bed. I'm skipping through a lot. We must test the but I'm also choosing some different options. But a lot of them really kind of end in the same way. No. And then Kerner gets in the machine and then it has to be me. And then we just kind of let him do his thing. I am One bead. Uh, Wait. What now? What about Plato? What about him? I think Plato prescribed. <laughs> Just a thought. You may be right. We should try. Run, 
I do like that he does his hair flip, his signature hair flip before he dies. stupid frog statue is so derpy. For something that turns you into a god, how derpy is that frog statue? You need a miracle. I'll stop this Plato's number. Honestly, I think that could be right. I'm gonna save. Save as Type my name wrong there. Hang on a second. Talks over. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. I should have said, let's get this over with, because I do want to do ten. Um, okay, let's get this over with. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Sure. Resentment may spoil your chances. I will compose my mind. Yes, I'm ready. Good, good. Let's not take chances. How does How does ten sound? sound? No weeds. Whatever you say. I want to try twenty. Let's hope you fit the correct amount. <laughs> I love how he says that. Like, let's hope you didn't fail this puzzle. Just want to see what they all do. So I can do twenty. I can do a hundred, and then I can say no. Is it the same? Is it the same freaking ending with 20 and 100? That's... Oh yeah. I... I forgot that we threw the doctor into the lava. I got excited all over again. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, one more try. Not one more try. As many tries as it freaking takes. Hang on a sec. Um... Let's talk this so we'll try to get out of it now. No time. I don't want to try wow, 10 beads. Uh, no. No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Please, professor, don't make... Look at some... Ooh, you'd make a much better god than me. You know, you'd make a much better god than... That goes without saying... Our classes are cheese. What if Plato's? How do you? Okay, dividing, multiplying, my... Plato and Karina were both wrong. Let's try the talking yeah, out of it still. Of All right, John, you decide how many beads should. Twenty, a hundred, no beads. No beads. Forget you. So I've done twenty and a hundred, really? and I die. So there's got to be another yourself. option. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Oh my god, I'm sending you straight to hell. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that the thanks I get? There's so much dialogue here. How is there so much dialogue? I dare you to use those beads. Machine. You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. I don't know what to do. Perhaps I haven't thought this through. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Well, you won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. 98? I mean, this isn't gonna go much better. To feel my wrath. <laughs> okay. Let's feel your wrath. Yep, same crazy immortal being. Norabsal 2.0. Zooms around the room, does not knock me into lava. Just 
so weird. Oh, where did the Nazis go? I got just wrecked for half a second and the Nazis are gone. <laughs> I'm going to assume that this is the only other option. So I didn't see anything besides 20, 100, or zero. Hurry. And this is the zero option. I'm so glad that I don't have to do anything here. If they maybe do timed puzzles, forget about it. Oh, we're going back here. Can you pilot a sub? Oh, the U. Oh, the U-boat's here. Did you know I left the door open like a putz? Can you pilot a U-boat? Let's find out. Oh, Indy. mask on the ground and we blew up Atlantis Good job. you know a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales even to me at least there's some evidence this time with sir then again maybe not A good ending. To ease the pain. Ugh. The only thing worse than Sophia is Sophia and Indy together. She's toxic. <laughs> 604. So instead of 579, I got 604 for my Indy quotient. Which has nothing to do with intelligence. Just Indying. <laughs> I am still a little sad that I didn't get to use my whip at the end. Yeah, the entire end game, like once you do the spindles, is all dialogue. 110% dialogue. Just fascinating. Love the MIDI theme though. Also enjoying this water animation. It's not the best pixelated water animation I've seen. But it is interesting to look at. <laughs> Some choices were made here. In general, the pixel art for this is pretty good. Yeah. Nothing stands out. <laughs> but in general, it's very like I don't know. It was it was unique. It was a unique game. It was a good story. Again, he didn't really have any motivation to go to Atlantis and put the spindles in because he wasn't seeking godhood. He was just kind of curious. But I guess it's all like the weird like archaeology, like Laura. Cro sorry, not Laura. Laura Croft and um and all that where they are like archaeologists, but really they're just doing stupid crap in old places. <laughs> oh, it's getting... it's getting dark. Why? Oh, crap. That was... that was a really fun game. That was... there was something very, like, comforting about that game. I can see why it's, like, such a nostalgia bomb for so many people. And I will... I will... I will be playing the other paths. I do want to see what the differences are. I'm even tempted to go back to the beginning and play more paths, because then there are some puzzles that were... Like, there are, like, three different puzzles that they throw at you, and it was like, I got one, but I solved the other two, because the one I got was so weird. Um... The long-suffering significant others. A well... a well-deserved credit spot. Yeah, who they are. <laughs> George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Look for Indy's return in an all-new adventure. Perhaps as a much younger man. I own all the Indiana Jones games now, like the old ones. There's like the Infernal Machine, and then there's this one, and then I think there's one that's based on one of the movies. It's an interesting animation. <laughs> Trademark. Um, so I own all of them. I'll have to look and see what they're talking about. But this one is definitely charming. 
This is a very charming game. I liked it a lot, but this is not the last we'll see of it. So I don't know when I'm going to be playing the other paths. Um, Cause I do want to be doing monkey Island. I have like one or two episodes of Half-Life Alex to finish up. Um, but yeah, whenever it feels like a good time, I'm going to definitely dive into those other paths. Again, it's, it's a very calming, comforting, happy, cozy game. So um, thanks again for watching the series. And I'll see you back when we're playing more of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. So bye.